We've all found ourselves gazing at the stars, mesmerized by our galaxy, wondering what lies beyond. But for about 1% of Earth's population, this feeling goes far beyond a sense of wonder. This group feels a homesickness, an intense desire to be out there where they belong, their true home. For these individuals, the Earth and its inhabitants have always felt foreign, as if they don't belong here. And no matter where they are, they feel a longing to be home among the stars. These beings, known as starseed incarnations, have made the conscious decision to incarnate as humans on Earth. Originating from a star system outside our own, they have volunteered to bring with them the light and knowledge that will uplift the human race to higher levels of consciousness. Most star seeds are typically left in a state of amnesia, spending their entire existence on Earth without knowing the origin of their souls. They've forgotten their home and their mission, but once awakened, they see clearly who they are and what they must do. If you are a star seed, chances are that you felt a strong flash of recognition or knowing that this could be true for you. Once you acknowledge your origins and your mission, you can find true satisfaction from life here on Earth. Some other indications that you could be starseed are, from childhood, you possessed an inherent wisdom that typically doesn't come until later in life. You never felt that you were like your family. You didn't feel the same sense of belonging that your peers had with their families. You were very intuitive and can see easily beyond people's facades. You rejected forms of organized religion and started to live by your own. You're drawn to metaphysics and seeking answers to the unknown. You find monetary and societal systems to be strange or nonsensical. You have a strong desire for a more peaceful and harmonious earth and a strong aversion to war, conflict, and violence. You create fantasy in your head and can be drawn to forms of escapism, including substance abuse. You have exceptional dreams, but difficulty sleeping. Babies and animals are drawn to or mesmerized by you. You're highly sensitive to pain, harsh light, clamorous noise, and you often become frustrated with the limitations of your physical body. Some starseeds have multiple origins, incarnating on different worlds for extended periods of time, while others who are new to Earth may feel the strongest desire to return home, as they are experiencing the anxiety of their first incarnation and often have a sensitivity to the harsh Earth energies, which are unlike those from their dimension. Each world, universe, or star system has their own energies which become part of the souls that inhabit it, allowing starseeds to be recognized by the energy they emit. Once a starseed awakens to their true origins, they typically gravitate to other starseeds that they can relate to. Determining your starseed origins only requires examining your own energies to see what type you align with. Keep in mind that many starseeds have several origins, and getting a past life regression may give you a more in-depth look to exactly where you came from and what your mission is. There are hundreds of starseed types, but the following examples will give you an idea of some of the most common incarnations here on Earth. First, we have the Arcturians, who come from the Arcturus star system, which is located in the constellation of Buotis. Arcturus is the brightest star in the northern celestial hemisphere. Arcturians are a highly evolved race and are known as master healers. They have telepathic abilities and a proclivity for communication and transmission of information. They often transmit information through sound, color, or geometry. Their communication abilities make them excellent keepers of peace, and they embody the frequencies associated with the throat chakra. They appear strong, capable, and powerful. They have a lot of physical and mental energy, and do not enjoy sitting still. Our next star seeds come from the Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters. The Pleiades Cluster is located in the constellation of Taurus. It is the most obvious star cluster in the night sky that is visible to the naked eye. Pleiadians have a deep desire for peace and happiness for all, and they emit a pleasant energy that is enjoyable to be around. They are highly sensitive and loving, and often sacrifice their needs for the needs of others. These nurturing and empathic beings tend to repress emotions and are prone to crying when these feelings have been built up. They can even become physically ill in situations of anger or confrontation. Pleiadians are especially radiant as they communicate through light transfer and appear to have a natural glow. Syrian starseeds come from the Sirius star system, located in the constellation Canis Major. It contains the brightest star that is visible anywhere from Earth in the night sky. 
Beings with serious origins are focused on the future and don't like to concern themselves with the past. They tend to live simply and are not complicated people, but are spiritually deep. They see themselves as helpers, workers, and doers, and are often focused and determined. They are open-minded, but they know their own truth. They are calm and slow to anger. Vegan starseeds have origins in the Lyra constellation near Vega, the second brightest star in the northern celestial hemisphere. Vegans tend to be proud, strong-willed, and independent. They are very sensitive to energy and possess healing abilities. They may have an affinity to crystals and stones. They have a variety of talents, abilities, and interests in both creative and intellectual fields, but because of this, they can find it difficult to fully devote themselves to one discipline. They also feel a great responsibility to take care of those who can't take care of themselves. Discovering that you are a starseed and learning about your origin is only the first step to fulfilling your soul's purpose. It's important to remember that having origins from a different star system does not mean that you can't have a meaningful and satisfying existence here on Earth. Your soul volunteered to incarnate here, to live amongst Earth humans, to teach and help them. You came to share your gifts and abilities, but also to experience the unique beauty of this planet we call Earth.